What's up, y'all? It is June 24th, 2019. Right now, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I'm here for training for my new job. So your boy is in a hotel, you know, just chilling out right now. You know, hey, life is good. Life is good. But uh, I want to talk about something. This is for you men out here. Last week, there was an interesting situation that happened on ESPN's first take on ESPN. Molly Karam. <laughs> you know what's crazy to me? How these females pick and choose when they're being sexually, sexually harassed. Okay. She told LeVar Ball. Like, hey, that switch gears, meaning that switch to another topic. And then LeBar Ball was like, okay, I'm ready to switch with you. Something something along those lines. And she flipped out like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can tell that was bullshit because LeVar Ball didn't do anything. You want to know why? Because he did the same thing a year ago and she didn't say anything. He did the same hand gesture and everything said the same thing, same hand gesture and she didn't say anything. But now she wants to flip out on him. And then on top of this, I just ran across this like just now. Approximately four years ago, Terrell Davis, Hall of Fame running back for the Denver Broncos, told Molly Karam to bend over on national television and play center. She didn't report him to human resources. Now, did she? No, uh, most of you probably didn't even know, know of that. I want all of y'all to go on YouTube and type in Terrell Davis, Molly Karam. They are on the NFL Network, and Terrell Davis really asked her, hey, I want you to play center. That's a no-no, especially in today's age. That's a huge no-no. But she didn't report him to Human Resources, probably because she liked him. She doesn't give a shit about LeVar Ball, so she gonna put, she's going to throw his name under the bus. She's going to try to get him canceled. She's going to do all this bullshit, drag his name through the mud. But with Terrell Davis, she didn't say anything. This is how most females are, man. Men, most females do not mind being sexually objectified. If it's by a man that they find attractive, they do not care. They actually love it. Women actually objectify themselves every day. For the most part, women know that they are a piece of meat. I know that's tough for a lot of you simps out there and a lot of you women out there who's listening to my channel. But most women know deep down that they are a piece of meat. You want to know why? Go on Instagram. Go on Facebook. Go on Snapchat. Go on these dating websites, all these women out here trying to be a model, putting their titties out there, putting their ass out there, putting out revealing clothing. Men don't tell them to wear this shit. Women do this on their own volition. They sexually objectify themselves. And when men come around and they like those men, they will let the men do whatever they fucking want. But if you're an average looking brother or they consider you ugly... And you try to pull that same thing, you're a creep. You're sexually harassing her. You're bothering her. You're making her feel uncomfortable. This is the type of shit that men have to deal with. Women in this society are so fucking entitled. And every man is guilty before proven innocent. Women are so entitled in this society, but you know what? It's our fault, men. You want to know why? Because we don't put these women in check. We let these women run rampant in this society. We let them do whatever they want, and all we do is gas them up. Look at Instagram. Average-looking females be having 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 likes and com hundreds of comments about and dudes saying, Oh, girl, you so beautiful. Oh, girl, you this. Oh, girl, you that. It's our fault, man. We need to start putting these females in line because we are letting them get away with so much shit. So much shit, man. It's incredible. It's our fault. 
If we set the standard, if we put them in check, women out here wouldn't be trying to meet two dudes. They wouldn't be out here bullshitting us. And then dudes that they find attractive, let them do whatever they want. What Terrell Davis did was bullshit. It was fucked up. And she didn't say anything about it. But with LeVar Ball, she wants to claim sexual harassment, report him to human resources, get him canceled off of ESPN. That is fucking bullshit. Men, listen to me. It is our fault and we have to put a stop to this. What happened to LeVar Ball was injustice. What happened to him was straight up bullshit. I hope you men learn from this and stop simping around. Stop simping out. Simps make it harder for all of us out here. Stop being a simp, that male feminist shit. Get off of that bullshit. Be a man. Be a real man. At the end of the day, a woman ain't going to respect a simp, a male feminist, whatever the fuck you want to be. That bullshit. Women don't respect that. That's why they ain't going to meet to you because they don't respect you. Get off of your ass. Start raising the standards. Stop being a fucking stimp. Stop raising these, stop gassing these females' heads up. Stop doing that shit. You understand? Get off of that shit. All right, you guys, follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John1991. That's J A R R O D J O H N 1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.